Welcome to another introduction video. In this video, we're going to go through creating and sending purchase orders to Metcash. We'll go through all the various ways to generate an order, both manually from the Metcash app from the PDE via GM Mobile and generating them automatically. So first up, a manual purchase order. So if we open up the menu and go into purchase orders, here you'll see a listing of all of your existing orders. To start a new order, we just click on new. We search for our supplier. You can leave all of this blank, but if you do want to put a comment in or change the description, you can, and then you hit save. The first thing you'll see is a search box where you can find products that you want to add to the order. Here I'll search for products that belong to Metcash using the supplier search. You can search by order code or barcode or whatever you want. When you want to add something, double click on it and enter in your order quantity. You can just go through the list and add a few items to the order. You can also activate the item directly from the orders tab now. So as a test, we'll just add one more product to the order, choosing a quantity. To review the order, we click on the order tab. This shows you what's already on the order. You can open up the details as well if you need to change the description or add some comments. But here, before you send the order, we can adjust the quantities on order and then we can save the order. When you're happy with the order, you can send it now using the options menu. Or if the order's closed, you can hit the aeroplane icon to send it directly. You get a summary of what's on the order. You hit send order, confirm your options, and then hit send now. And when the order's sent, you'll get a great notification to say that the send was successful. Another way to do an order is via a PDE, typically the Metcash PDE. To do that, we go into the menu to do generate order by PDE, and then you're presented with an option to download the PDE file. While this training is not about the Metcash PDE app, I'll show you what this process looks like. We go into order entry and we enter the order or we enter the items that we want to order and the quantity. And when you finish with that, the next thing to do is send that order to Smart Retail. So we do that by going into the send data menu, choosing PC comms. Metcash orders appears in a bit of an italics. And now we have to get Smart Retail ready to receive the data. So we just choose download file from PDE and then hit download. And if client tools is already configured, we just press OK to confirm that we want to receive the PDE data. And when it says connected to client tools and waiting for data, we start the comms from the PDE. Transfer data, yes, and confirm. You'll see upload successful with a number of records, and then the order appears in the list. So with the PDE data downloaded, we select our supplier that we want to add these items to an order for. We also take the preview out, so it actually generates the order, and we select only order from known suppliers. So just in case if you scan an item that doesn't belong to Metcash, it won't get ordered. So we choose to continue, and then we can edit the order. At this point, we can add more items to the order, or you can go directly to have a look at the order bin. Here you can make some changes, maybe adjust the quantity on order, or remove items from the order as you see fit. We can save. When it's time to send the order, we choose options, send order. Confirm our count, cart and quantity to send, send order and then send now to actually transmit the order to Metcash. Again, you'll get the notifications that everything was successful, and you can click on the link to view the order confirmation that comes from Metcash. Another type of order we can create is one directly from GM Mobile. So to do that, we open up GM Mobile on our PDA. We go into orders.
Now we can choose to add to an existing order, or if you want to create a new order, you can select Metcache, review the orders that are already existing for Metcache. In this case, we'll choose new to create a new order, confirm that we want to do so. Again, we can change the comment if we need to and the expected delivery date, and then we hit OK. So we'll scan or enter our barcodes or our order codes that we want to order. You can scan ahead or we can confirm our quantity and then press enter. Now because GM Mobile is live to the back office, if we go into our purchase order screen again, we should see that order that we created with the PDA directly there. As you can see, if we add the created by column to the columns, you can see it's been created by a GM Mobile user. Now with our order already in the list, the steps to send it are very much the same. Choose the aeroplane action to send it, confirm the number of lines and cartons, and when you're happy, hit send now to send the order. And when, you're, when you see the green notifications, the order's been sent. The last way to generate an order is automatically if you are running stock control. To do that, we go into our menu and choose generate order automatically. So from this screen, normally the way to generate the order is via a favorite. So we'll go and select the favorite that we want to generate an order. We can confirm our options and the number of days to cover, etc. With a preview option on, we press OK. And what happens next is a job is added to a queue, which will automatically go now and generate a preview of what items will be ordered. So our preview has completed. We'll see the number of items that are going to be ordered with the total down the bottom with the cartons ordered and the number of units ordered. If we're happy with what the preview looks like, we can take the preview tick out and now generate a real order for that supplier. We'll just wait for this to finish. Now our order's generated, we get the option to edit the order now. Again, we can add new items to the order if we need to, but if you want to review what's in the order, we click on the order tab. Here you'll see all of the items that are already in the order. And as before, we can review this list make changes to what we want to order. Maybe we want to remove items with a zero or change the quantity ordered. We'll hit save. And now to send the order, we'll choose send order from the options menu, confirm the number of cartons and hit send order. You know the order's sent when you've got your green notifications, and again, you can view the confirmation by clicking on the link.